Okay, I'm gonna do the video. This is a video response to Brother Vampires. Your favorite improvised. Uh, your favorite improvised weapons in a movie part two. Okay, here we go. These aren't in any particular order because I just don't do a one, two, three kind of thing. I'm just gonna throw them out there. My first one is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. It was the scene where he was on the island of the bad dude, the president, a-hole, whatever his name was, and he was surrounded by his military, his mercenary army, and he was inside the tool shed, and he grabbed a bunch of gardening tools and tools, just tools in general that he found in there, and when he kicked open the door, he just came out blazing with all kinds of like farming, like gardening tools, like like axes and he had a pick and one of the best one was is when he took circular saw blades and turned them into like flying discs of death he zipped some the top of some dude's head off that was really 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 neat um so yeah Arnold Schwarzenegger the tool shed scene in Commando the second one these are in, again in, in not in any particular order um Sam Neill in the movie Dead Calm at the end of the film where he takes out Billy Zane, the crazy bad guy, um, he shoots him in the face with a flare gun. And he catches it in the mouth and his head explodes. Um, that was really, really neat. So a flare gun to the face. A flare to the face with a flare gun. Like that one. And here's an interesting one. It's not a movie that a lot of people probably know about or have seen. There's a movie called American Samurai, one of my favorite movies. Another one of my favorite movies. Um, it starred David Bradley. He was one of those American Ninja guys. He's the one, the guy who picked up for Michael Dudikoff who did the first two or three American Ninja movies and then David Bradley picked up um, the final ones. David Bradley's also been in a bunch of other stuff. He's kind of like a David Bradley. He's kind of like a, a Jeff Speakman, um, Ian Thomas Griffin kind of guy. He's not necessarily a B. He's, he's like an A- minus kind of actor. He's not necessarily A-list. He's not necessarily B-list. He's like, you know, he's in that area with all those other guys. You know, Martin Cove, that, that group of guys. So, he did a movie called American Samurai, where it was basically about two brothers. One was Asian and one was um, American. And it starred David Bradley and Mark DeCoscos, who incidentally now plays the chairman on American Iron Chef on the Food Channel, Food Network. And I love his movies too. He did this movie, American Samurai, and, and it was one of those underground gladiatorial kind of movies where guys compete in a, like, unsanctioned fight where you get, like, different guys. You get Viking guys, uh, brawlers. Um, you got kung fu artists. You got karate artists. You got samurai guys. So there was a guy in the movie a character named Fang Su and I'm not exactly sure what style he was what his style was but he used a broadsword as his primary I think he used a broadsword yeah he used a broadsword I believe as a, a, a kung fu broadsword as his primary weapon and then he had a really cool weapon he had another one which he had this really really long um old Kung Fu theater style ponytail that was like, I don't know, six feet long or whatever, and he wrapped it around his neck. But on the end of it, he had a knife on the end of his ponytail. And he actually would unravel the ponytail and use it 
as a weapon when he fought in his battles and he fling the um, knife at people on his ponytail kind of like a chain whip and um, it was really cool to see that so check that movie out it's called American Samurai all right okay now I get one more and this is kind of like a bonus you know your top three so I, I always throw a bonus in there so here's another one Jamie Lee Curtis in the movie Halloween H2O at the very very end where she's doing the final showdown with Michael Myers. She hops into an ambulance and she smashes into him with some severe authority trying to kill him. So she basically smashes into him with a... And it was either a truck or an ambulance or she smashed him against an ambulance. Um, so she took a truck or some kind of vehicle and she used the vehicle as a ramming device and she tried to kill him. So she pinned him between two vehicles and she tried to crush him to death. So a vehicle, using a vehicle as a way to kill somebody I thought was an interesting improvised weapon. So um, not the best Halloween movie, but you know, it is what it is. So that one, Halloween. Jamie Lee Curtis, the, I call it the ambulance smash kill. So there's my, my three or my four. So hope you enjoyed it. Find your surrender in a mad world, and I will see you next time.